Welcome back everybody. Today we're jumping back into MMORPG Tycoon 2. So today I wanted to work more on cleaning up some stuff such as like a player abilities and then work on the enemies a little bit more. Um, I'm still kind of afraid to build anything because the glitches that I've been having such as like placing this road, the second I place this road the game just completely crashes. It actually crashes my entire computer. It doesn't crash just the game. Um, the game would be bad enough but I got to restart my whole computer when that happens. Um, Anyway, so I'm still a little worried about placing stuff. Um, I'm kind of hoping that they do a new update soon. But I figured a way that I could still do a video on this without worrying too much about placing physical things. is working more a little bit on trying to get everything kind of like working a little bit smoother. So player abilities, enemy abilities. Uh, I'm going to try work on... Um, just some general things as far as zones go. So somebody actually mentioned something that I got to try placing. Um, the last episode when I was placing some guards, they said I accidentally placed some, I think they said quest givers. Um, I don't remember doing that, but I'm going to take their word on it. So I'm going to do guards right now. It is extremely possible that I just selected this one and didn't even realize it. And if that's the case, oops. <laughs> but uh, with that being said, let's just go ahead and place a few more guards. Please don't crash. All right, cool. We're able to place guards. Um, I'm going to place a few more guards in some of the areas that were having issues of players being able to find inns and see if this helps a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and place a guard there. And let's go ahead and place a guard here. It's kind of strange that a player in the game can literally be like right next to an um, uh, inn and they don't know where the inn is. That's kind of kind of strange. But yeah, it's not the worst thing ever. Okay, I wanted to check something really quick before I go deeper into that, actually. Let's go ahead and... Uh, wait, no, sorry, reports. Looking in the wrong section. If you can hear my cat meowing in the background, he is meowing for me to give him some water, a.k.a. turn on the faucet. Give me one moment. Sorry about that. I have, without a doubt, the most spoiled cat ever. He will not drink water out of the normal water bowl like your typical cat. He has to drink it out of a moving stream, such as like a water faucet or a shower faucet. A um, long time ago, I tried actually getting him one of those like uh, those water bowls that has a constant movement to it. Nah, didn't like it. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Um, okay, yeah, I was going to go to reports, and then I was going to try and find... Couldn't, uh, couldn't find an in. Yeah. Focus. I want to see if there's other places that I'm not aware of that are having trouble. I think it's just these two, though. Which, I don't know why it's just those two. Actually, I think there was a few small ones over here. Yeah, but not nearly as much. Alright, so let's place a few more guards. And now this time, I'm, I'm intentionally paying attention and realizing that I am selecting a guard. Because last time, apparently, I accidentally selected a quest giver, I think. But, oh well. Not really that big of a deal. We'll just fix it this time. Um, let's just go ahead and do one right over here. Then there was a few over here. Let's place... Uh, there's already a ton of guards there. Let's place a few guards down here then. Let's do one... There's already plenty of guards over here as well. Um, let's do one over here then. We'll do it here and we'll do it here. Okay, that should help. So something somebody else... Actually, it might have been the same person. I forget. Unfortunately, there's a couple people that um, comment in my chats a lot. And unfortunately, sometimes I forget which one commented which thing. Do you guys just see that weird little glitch thing on the roads? It, like, phased in and out. That was weird. Um, too many jerks in chat, though. They were saying that I need to give warnings. Uh, the person that commented in chat said I need to give warnings to people that are, like, throwing tantrums. Um... I'm not seeing anybody that's throwing a tantrum right now. I don't think I'm going to go out of my way too much to look for them, but if I do come across one of them, then I'm going to give them warning. Oh, wait, what's this? Frustrated. Okay, I'm not going to do that to somebody that's frustrated, but let's see if we can find out why he's frustrated, see if that's an issue that we can work on. No, I just want him. Okay, uh, history. I keep dying. Scenery is really nice here. I keep dying. I keep dying. I keep dying. He's in, what is this, level 4? Yeah. What's he working on? Good weapon. Info. Shaman. 
He should have more abilities now. Okay, are, are you going to be annoyingly bad timing when I'm trying to watch somebody and you're not going to go do anything? Here we go. Okay. I got hiccups today, so if you hear me hiccup, I apologize for that. I'm trying. I have the mute button for my mic right next to me, but sometimes, you know, a hiccup or a cough or whatever sneaks up on you out of nowhere. I just want to see what happens with this guy if he dies in an encounter right now or what. I mean, I worked on shamans. I worked on all player classes, but shamans up to level four, I've given them several new things, so he should be okay. I think I've I've really worked on enemies, making them better as well. But I just want to see what happens. Oh, instant deaths. Wow. Okay, let's take a look at these guys then. This guy lived. He avenged his, his buddy. So these are the green engineers, are they? Oh, these are just regular engineers. Okay. Um, so let's go to engineers. Monsters. Where are the engineers? Engineer. They got a ton of health. That could be part of it. So let's look at... He's got 30 health. Where I think that shaman had like 20-something. Let's bring this down a bit. Okay, let's bring his mana down. Let's bring his range down to 10. Abilities. What kind of damage is he putting out? I kind of want to work on the abilities for some of these classes as well. I don't know if I'm going to do all of them, because there's just I have way more enemies than I do um, player classes. But I kind of want to work on them a little bit as well. Just make them a little bit better. Um, a little bit more verse, but maybe not so uh, damaging. Um... Okay, so like for instance this. What well, could we give an engineer? Let's go ahead and do let's do slow. That makes sense for an engineer. So slow, mana, let's have it cost five. And we're just gonna do slow. I mean that seems like something that an engineer would be able to do. I don't wanna go nearly in depth on these as I was on um the player classes. But I do want to. I do want to work on them a little bit. Ah, ten. I'm having trouble selecting ten. Okay. So now he's got that ability. Let's work on his level four really quick. Let's give him something else. Let's do. What are these other things actually? This is five meter, one second, one damage. Five meter, one second, three damage. Let's do. Let's do a ten second attack. Ah, wrong side. Uh, let's do five damage, and it's going to cost him. Let's say let's say ten mana. Um, I have no clue what I'm doing as far as like the ability goes, so I'm just going to do that. <laughs> that just looks like some sort of like explosion. Some sort of something's bursting, so we're doing burst. Um, instant melee, yeah, that all works. Okay. Well, how much health does this guy have? 51. But that's an elite. I want elites to be challenging. I want elites to be the kind of thing that, you know, a group has to attack. Like, let's see what this group does right over here. They're grinding. Should they be grinding? Shouldn't they be questing? I have plenty of quests in this area. I mean, if they want to grind, they can, but I'm just wondering. Like, I feel like they should be doing something more quest-oriented. Oh. Uh, the wizard has the most health out of anybody, so that I think I need to work on. Wizard should have possibly the least health out of anybody. So I think I need to work on their health. Okay, we have a frustrated player, it looks like. I can't select him, though. Okay, well, they got that guy down. Okay, well, I mean, he's red, so I'm, I want to say frustrated, but maybe not. Oh, it looks like he's about to die. Let's go ahead and heal this guy really quick. Instant heal. Somebody's dead. Okay, I think I need to something else. I need to raise some of the other people's health just a little bit. I keep selecting the wrong thing, though. It's in design. Player class. Let's go ahead and raise your health. Just a bit. Let's raise it to 13. No, let's raise it to 14. Boom. 
Okay, what is a wizard? Wizard is... I had to put wizard at 15 in order to make him not die. So let's do you at 16 then. You should have more than a wizard. Let's do you at 14. I'm just going to bring everybody up a little bit. Paladin, he's fine. <laughs> Paladins are absolutely fine. 16. Let's put you at 15. Same as a wizard. Let's put you... No, I think you should be higher. You're kind of like a melee type of dude. So let's put you just slightly higher. Shaman, 15 is fine. Okay. I just wanted to do just a little bit to everybody's health. Um, see if that kind of helps some of the people from dying a little bit. I feel like I'm really in kind of like a um, quality control kind of mode for the state of my game right now. Because we have a pretty good amount of stuff. Um, we have some people in the level 10 region. I don't even know if they're there right now. They might be locked out. We have a couple of people in there right now. Or level 9, sorry, not level 10. We're just going to take them a good while before they get to the next section or need to get to the next section. What are they? They're, we have one level 10, and we got 15 level 9, so I'm not too worried about that. But um, I have a lot of people not getting to the higher levels yet, so I'm trying to work on that. So I feel like I'm, like I said, I'm kind of like in a quality control kind of mode right now trying to fix the bugs fix the issues things that are upsetting people make it not upsetting them anymore I'm trying to get everybody just just living a little bit better you're gonna die all right let me help him out really quick actually what's this guy at yeah i'll help him out just a little bit somebody also suggested Giving them more quests to blacksmiths, because that might be why some of them don't have good um, gear. Which, if that's the case, it's kind of it's kind of stupid that they don't buy better gear on their own. I mean, I'm giving them a good amount of like gold rewards. But then again, uh, I think that same person also mentioned that, you know, just theoretically, some of the players are not going to be as smart as other players. So that, that makes sense. Um, let's see what kind of gear he has, actually. I mean, it's pretty basic. It just says... Weapon, good. <laughs> Potions, zero. Loot to sell, one. So it's really kind of basic. That'd be kind of cool if they get a little bit more in-depth eventually and like give a little bit more info as to what they have. But um, I, I don't mean like a full like spreadsheet of like the headpiece, chest piece, weapons, etc. But maybe just a little bit more info. Okay, um, how's everybody else doing? I want to go back to player classes really quick. Uh, or m enemy classes, I should say. NPCs, monsters, never mind. I cannot uh, cannot think today. Okay, kobolds. I think I got kobolds working out. I spent most of the last episode working on kobolds. Um, crocodiles and spiders. Actually, you know what? Instead of doing it that way, I'm going to go to a specific area, see what's there, and then work on that thing. Let's go a little bit higher, though. Let's go to... Yeah, let's go to somebody over here. Okay, so... What do we have over here? Those, are these just kobolds? Oh, I accidentally healed him. Uh, elite Orange Soldier. All right, let's take a look at how the Elite Orange Soldiers are. And, and he's an Elite, but he's only 20. So that's not bad. Whereas this dude is... Uh, oh, that's a Paladin. That's a Monk. Where is the regular one? Here we go. He's 10, so they don't have that much health, so that's kind of good. Uh, where are they? Orange Soldier. So they don't have that much health. Um, I don't know if I need to lower it. I mean, they look like they're kind of doing okay. The players. Now, granted, that was a group of them, though. I want to see if anybody dies in this group. It looks like somebody's using some sort of ability. That's kind of cool. Okay, um... Maybe not. Maybe they, they might just... Maybe orange soldiers are fine. Let's find somebody that's not a group and see how they're doing. Okay, here's an individual. I want to see how an individual is doing with these guys. If he's struggling, if the orange soldiers are too hard for him. And then maybe make some... Uh, Amendments to the orange soldiers from there. I also want to work on some of the higher level um, abilities. So like, I think I did one or two level six abilities for everybody. I want to get a few more of those done and then maybe get some of the level eight abilities done. I think low levels is what needs the most focused. Focus, not focused. But I want to help out a little bit of everybody. So 
excuse me, I wanted to comment on that, but I had a sneeze coming, so I had to mute the microphone. Okay, so it looked like he was doing okay with one until, like, uh, this dude jumped in as well. Uh, okay, so... Oh, that's an elite, though. So he was doing okay with one elite until he got two elites. So I think orange soldiers are actually fine. I don't think I really need to do anything to orange soldiers. Um, let's go find somebody else. What's over here? Are these orange soldiers as well? That's just regular kobolds. I've already worked on them. How are crocodiles doing? Okay, crocodiles. Only eight health, so they got very little health. What kind of damage? They're probably putting out the base like one and three damage. I think that's what everybody kind of puts out at first is, is that one and then three. One. Oh, two. Okay, so he's even less. Okay, um, let's do this. Let's do... Just because I think that feels accurate. <laughs> Instant. Let's do uh, five second cooldown. Actually, really quick, I'll look at something. He doesn't have rage, so let's give them a little bit of rage. Give them two rage. Now let's go back to the. I don't know if I need to close it or not, but I'm just going to do that. Oh, wait, does he already have an ability chomp? He already has an ability called chomp. Alright. Um, and he has bite as well, I think. Bite and chomp. Yeah, all right, let's do... Um, no, I was going to do grapple, but no. Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to think of like how, how a crocodile attacks somebody that like they tug on them. That kind of works. Okay, let's do um, rage. It's going to cost two rage. And there's a five-second cooldown. Yeah, that works. Okay. Now we got a little ability for him. Actually, let's change this icon. Is there something that's got, like, teeth or, like, a pulling motion or... I mean, these kind of. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that for now. That works. Boom! Okay, what are these over here? Elite Brave Soldier. I don't really have anybody doing anything up here. I did have people going up here earlier, but now it seems like it's kind of a... Okay, here we go. Here's somebody going up here. Let's select him. I want to see how he does. Oh, he's in a party, too. He's a paladin, though, so he's probably going to be okay. Paladins, I think, actually might be slightly overpowered. I might need to bring their their uh, health down a little bit. He actually doesn't have that much mana. How much mana do I have for them? Uh, oh, they have hardly any mana. And their abilities, one mana, one mana. Let's give him just a little bit more mana. Let's give him three. I was just noticing how little he had. Now, granted, their abilities don't really cost that much, but still. Uh, looks like he's about to die, though. How's this guy doing? Okay, so that looks like actually like kind of an even fight. He killed him, but he's... Uh, He's not doing great. Dude, you should like rest and heal before you go back in there. I'm not healing you if you go straight to battle. <laughs> Why did they put analysis diabetes? Like what what does that mean? Like why? <laughs> I have no need to know that a player has diabetes. That doesn't affect anything in the game. <laughs> kind of funny. What are these? Kobolds? Orange soldiers. I need to change the way the orange soldiers look. That way they don't look the exact same as kobolds. I'll do that later. But um, it can be a little problematic having them look exactly the same. What do we have in here? Duelist. Okay, we got a level 5 duelist. Has 21 health. Um, what are level 5 players? Let's look at a level 5 player really quick. Okay, they got more health. Not than an elite, but they have more health just standard, I guess. Let's see how this guy does going in here. Like I said, I'm kind of like in a Q&A, or not Q&A, uh, quality control mode. Um, I want to try and um, just get everything working a little bit smoother. I still want it to be challenging. I still want players to, like, at higher levels, need to work together on most things, like you would on most MMOs. You know, most MMOs, you're not uh, soloing the entire game. Some people can, but I want it to be a challenge, but I want it to be realistic. That guy just totally got destroyed from this guy. This guy had only roughly half of his health down. All right, let's lower the duelist health just slightly. Uh, duelist. 
Yeah, they got 10. Let's just bring it down to 8. Just a little bit. We're not going to drop it like crazy, but let's go ahead and give them a little bit better... Um, a little bit better uh, ability. Let's do this. I'm going really basic with the names for the, the enemies, but I don't really care too much. <laughs> um, we'll do that. Now let's do... Let's do uh, four damage. Five second cooldown. Does he have? Yeah, he has mana and rage. Let's do five rage. Okay, that's not so bad. Also, when I name all of them, that's actually going to make it easier to come back later and see what I haven't done yet. So I can tell this, this, and this are done. This is not because it's not named. That's actually helping me like kind of keep track of everything a little bit. Okay, let's go. Um, how's everybody in here doing? Where are these? These are black robots. I should make them more like black. Maybe change the name to like gray robot or chrome robot maybe. I should either change the color or change the name. Okay, how are you doing? You're attacking this guy. Um, he is. Yeah, you don't have a chance against this fight. All right, let's let's heal you. I'm trying to keep my players happy right now. Let's instant kill him. Uh, let's lower black robots' health. They have a lot of health. Yeah, they have a ton of health. Let's bring it down to. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it there. Let's bring this down to... Let's bring both these down to 10. Let's give them an ability. Let's give them... What would a robot do? Slow, siphon, root, stun? Yeah, I think they would stun. So let's stun them for 5 seconds. 10 second cooldown. The cost is going to be... I don't know. Um... Let's do 5 mana and 5 rage. Yeah, let's do both. Because they have 10 of each. I mean, I could change that, but just for this, yeah, whatever, we're just going to do that. Um, Pretty basic. Stun. Let's find some sort of icon that looks kind of stunned. That works. Okay. So we helped you out a little bit. Now, does a scout have any abilities that require mana? Because they don't have mana. I, I don't think they do. I don't think I gave them that, but I just want to check. Scout, instant cost, rage, instant. That has no cost to it. Oh, there's a generating rage. Got it. I was trying to figure out why. That's got no cost to it. Uh, actually, no, that icon works. Now I'm thinking about it, that works. Okay, so worn down, what is this? This is, it costs rage, damage over time. All right, that works. Uh, 10, wait, rage 5, and he has what? Rage 10. Okay, so he's fine, I think, for abilities now. I think he actually would have been okay after that encounter if that elite didn't jump in. Let's see how this guy does. He looks like he's frustrated, though. Let's help him out a little bit. Ooh, ooh, I paused it just in time. Let's help him out here. Let's kill this small guy and then see how he does against the elite. Okay, so he's got... Ooh, yeah. This elite's going to crush him. I want to see what this elite is at like. Are you even going to attack the elite, dude? What is this guy doing? Was he looting that body or something? Oh my god. <laughs> that was, um... That was kind of dumb. I'm trying to help you out here, but I mean, you can attack. Even if you don't have mana or anything, you can still do your regular attack. Those don't cost anything. Okay, that was kind of dumb. Tantrum. All right, here we go. Going to issue him a warning. Chill out, bro. 
tantrum. Issue you a warning. Chill out, bro. I wonder if they're having tantrum because these guys are too hard for them. Maybe I do need to lower their uh, their stats a little bit more. So let's go ahead and bring down their their uh, health a little bit. Black robot. Let's bring it down to 10. Let's click on somebody really quick. Okay, so now he's got 18 health as opposed to this guy who has... What do you have? 28 health. You have 10 more health. So health-wise, I think they should be fine now. Attack him and you'll kill him. Just You just had to attack him one more time. Who was he? He's a scout. A scout should be fine. He should have an attack that... Yeah, that doesn't cost anything. He could have done that and he probably would have taken him down. Why would he not do that? Hmm. Okay. Well, I brought down everybody's health in here. All the, the enemies. Let's do something else as well. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's do... Bring it down to light. Maybe make it a little bit less congested and that helps a little bit more. Player deaths are dropping off very well. So that helps. I, I don't know what this ratio is though. I mean, not this ratio, the scale. Is this one day, two day, three day, or weeks, or months, or whatever. Um, but the player deaths are dropping down a lot. I think this might partially be when I added better abilities in the last episode for everybody. Um, but I'm not really sure. There's a lot of things in this game that it's kind of hard to tell like specifics. Like you can get a general idea of how something is, but it can be kind of hard to tell the exact specific. Issue a warning to this guy. I think he's having a tantrum because he's red, but I'm not sure because I don't see a tantrum thing, so I'm not going to do that to him. Um, I want to I want to do something else really quick. Okay. Uh, let's go to Wizard. Wizard does not have a level of four. A level of four? I can't speak. A level of four. Actually, he does have a level 4 ability. I just haven't named it. Okay, so this is a mana cost. Uh, it does damage and slow. 10 second cooldown. Damage is not a lot, though. Let's bring that up just a little bit. Um, I, it's more than just damage. It's also slow, but still. Um, mana, damage, slow, melee, range. Let's, let's do missile range. A wizard should not have to be up close like that. Um... Yeah, I'm fine with that mana cost. Actually, no, because once you're level 4, you're actually going to be having even more mana. So let's bring that mana cost up just a little bit. Let's bring it up to 10. Um, what should we call this? Damage and slow. I don't know. It works. Also, like I mentioned in the last episode, if anybody has any ideas for uh, spells, um, what they should be or what they should uh, be named or whatever, feel free to drop it in the in the comments, and I might actually use your idea as a spell and put that into here. Okay, let's do his level 6 as well. Like I said, I want to start working on some of the level 6 and level 8 abilities. Not a ton of them, but some. Okay, what does he have so far? So he's got just regular base damage. He's got... Um, Clobber the target, dealing 1 damage and dealing 4 damage over 5 seconds. Okay, those are pretty good, like, two starting abilities. Um, 10 damage, stunning for 10. Okay, wait, this is very, very similar. So this is stunning him for 8 seconds. And this is slowing him for 8 seconds. So I want to change that. I don't want to have a stun and a slow. So let's just do, let's do no damage. Because I don't want to have two that are so similar. So let's do no damage. Let's make this 10 seconds to kind of make this a little bit better in that aspect. Is there something else that we can give to it? Effects on target. Um, and let's say it, it also drains their mana a little bit. Let's, it's going to drain their mana for five. Not much, but it's a little bit. Melee range. Okay. Now let's do, give him a level 6 ability. I kind of want to do like some sort of like fire blast. That actually works. It's not going to be nearly as powerful as what that looks like. That's a nuclear bomb, what is, a mushroom cloud. But uh, okay, let's do missile range instant 
10 second cooldown. Uh, mana cost is going to be... Let's do 8. Oh, not 89. 8. It's going to do... Um, this is level 6, so we need to bring the damage up a little bit. Now let's do 10 damage. And damage over time. Let's do... 3 damage over 8 seconds. I'm just trying to think, like, this is going to be a higher level ability. It's level 6. You should make it a little bit more powerful. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, let me burst. Boom. Okay, so now we got him 1 through 6. I'll work on his level 8 later. Let's see how people are doing down here now. We gave it a little bit more time. I want to see how they're interacting. Okay, you're going after that elite. Let's look at this. This elite is taking damage. You are taking significantly more damage. So I think I need to bump Warrior's health up. He is a warrior too. He should uh, he should be similar to a paladin. If anything, actually, maybe a paladin should maybe have a little bit less health than him. So how about we do that? How about we bring you down to 19? I think paladins are pretty OP already. Um, let's bring you down to 19. And we'll bring you up to... 21. Because a warrior is basically like a barbarian. Uh, if you've ever played D&D, &D, the barbarians have like insane amount of health, and it kind of makes sense. They don't really have a whole lot of other abilities, but they just have like insane health. It looks like this is also possibly hindering people from getting to their 5th level area. Now, there should be a flight path, though. There is a flight path. So, I mean, realistically... Oh, wait, no, this isn't in the way. I thought this was, might be in the way of the road. So they're just doing a quest. Never mind. I'm wrong. Do I need to lower the black robots even more? Um, monsters, black robot. What kind of damage are you doing? I haven't done anything to your damage, have I? One, three. No, so I think they're fine as far as that goes. But they're just... They're really kind of murdering these guys. Let's help you out really quick. You look like you're having a bad time. So let's help you out. Heal you. Boom. Man. Heal you. I'm, I'm trying here, bro. Now, it doesn't help that he has two regulars and an elite attacking him. Let's go ahead and kill... Ah, no. Ah! Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Go back to this. I don't... It doesn't even look like he's attacking. Like... What are you doing? Maybe that stun makes it so he can't attack at all? Okay, let's do something else. Let's go ahead and kill this elite. Kind of maybe going overpowered by killing that elite, but let's just see. Yeah, he's stunned. He can't do anything again now. So maybe I should give them less mana so they can't do stun so much. I'm trying, bro. Yeah, I think that might be a good idea. If we give them less mana, they can't stun as often. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, design, monsters, black robot. I think it costs, what What did I give it? Like a five? Yeah, five. So he's going to have a little bit more because he's up here. Let's bring it down so he has just 15. Actually, no. Let's do just a little bit less than 15. There we go. I will figure out how to get everything balanced in this game. Sooner or later, <laughs> everything is going to be balanced in a very good way, and people are just going to enjoy my game. Enjoy my masterpiece. He's not enjoying it, though. <laughs> okay. Um, something else I want to do really quick. Let's go to, let's go to level 6 on uh, a Trent. 
Do you have a level 6 ability? You do not. You don't even have a level 4, so let's work on that. So what does he have? He's got his base 1 damage. I wonder if these get more powerful at higher levels. Do they do more damage? I think they do. Okay, they do. Not much, but it, it does go up in damage. Okay. So he's got his base 1 damage. Um, what is this? This is... Cost 2 mana... 5 damage over 8 seconds, 5 second cooldown. Now let's make this 10 second, and let's, um, I think I'm happy with that, actually. We'll just go ahead and leave that. Ah, uh, that kind of works. Let's go to his third ability, which is damage 5, 10 second cooldown, 5 second cast. Let's make this instant melee range. Let's make it, um, missile range. Actually, no, melee range. 10 second cooldown, that's fine. But let's give him a fourth ability. Oh, he does have a fourth ability. I thought he only had one through three. Or one through, yeah, one through three. Okay, so this is protection. Five mana. So what does a level, uh, a level four? Yeah, what does a level four have as far as mana goes? Level four, Trent. I actually don't see Trents very often. I wonder if that means that um, people don't enjoy playing them. Because, I mean, just looking around right here, like, am I missing it? Or do I not see any, like, anywhere? Does Isn't there somewhere that says what your most popular classes are? Um levels like like this but for classes i think there is if i remember correctly i saw that somewhere what is this so cash is going down expenses are going down income's going down slightly too though i don't like that i feel like there was somewhere that shows like how many classes you have of something what if i go back to here trent doesn't say in here. Model editor. Yeah, it doesn't say how many I have in here. I think Trent is supposed to be like a play on like tree ent. If it's not, then I have no clue what it could be. Because that just makes so much sense that it would be a play on tree ent. Okay, I don't see any Trents anywhere. I don't think I'm going to look for them anymore. Um, I don't want to waste forever just looking for one class. I just, I don't see any anywhere. So I'm wondering if maybe people don't enjoy them I see a lot of wizards and paladins and um, shamans it seems like uh, what is it? shaman warlock warlocks and shamans look too similar I don't like that I gotta change that as well they look they are different ones a human ones like a Taurus but they look very similar yeah, I don't see any Trents anywhere. But we got a Tantrum Thrower. Issue you a warning, buddy. Chill out, friend. Chill out, pal. Oh, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> I saw a Trent. I'm like, Trent? But then I realized it's not actually a, a Trent. I mean, it is, but it's not. Okay, let's go back to classes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Tantrum. Chill out, good buddy. Boom. Let's go back to classes, um, monsters, paladins. Let's do... How are you doing? Inflict wounds, knock down. Let's give him another six. Oh, wait, what else does he have? Okay, so he's got just one damage. Um, reduces their damage dealt to... Wait, this is reduces damage to them, right? Yeah, okay, so protection... Yeah, we'll do melee range. That way he can do it on, on allies if he wants to. So I'm fine with that. Now, this is damage over time. That fits for a monk. This is damage and stun. That works. Let's do like something like a, a powerful attack. Um, it's level 6 now, so let's bump it up a little bit. Melee range, instant cast. Now, let's do a 0.5 second cast. Let's do a 5 second cooldown let's do uh rage it's gonna cost how much rage do you have okay i can i can do a 10 mana rage 10 mana rage at level six 
Um, that, that works. Let's do... Come on. Let me select this. For some reason, it has like a hard time like selecting on these text boxes, it seems like. Let's do uh, 12 damage. Let's find some sort of like fist, something like he's punching. Um, that actually kind of works too. Okay, uh, what should we name this? Um, it's a monk. Uh, I don't know what to name this. Just I'm just going to do something really basic, like a judo chop. Chop. Boom. There we go. He's got a better. He's got a better level six now. Okay, let's see how these guys do. I, oh wait, is that a Trent? No, I stayed in this area because I kind of wanted to see how they how they work. Now that I've kind of tweaked everything in here a little bit, it looks like there's a decent amount of people coming in here too. And it looks like Trents just don't exist. Like people are not using them. I could have sworn that there was somewhere that showed the different um classes like how many i have of each class game okay, menu no uh features xp quest npc monster yeah i don't know where it would be though rating advertise level subscribers yeah not that finance sales loan i don't know maybe not if you know if you know where you can see that uh let me know but there might not be. I just feel like I did see something. People are still dying to these guys. I don't know why they're having such a hard time with them. With the, the black robots. I lowered their health quite a lot. They don't have that powerful of abilities. They actually really don't have strong abilities at all. They have uh, a one, a three. No, let's make the cooldown on this a little bit longer. Let's try that. See if that helps out a little bit. And then this is... They can only do this once every 10 seconds. Send them for 5. You know, let's make... Ah, I wish it was a 15. That would be really, really nice. Because 10 sometimes is not enough, and 30 is way too much. Let's do this. We'll make this a little bit more expensive. That way they can't do it as frequently. And how about we make this 4 seconds? I'm just trying to make it a little bit more balanced. Um, this is four damage. Oh, this is pretty powerful, and this doesn't cost anything, and they're able to use this in this region. That kinda, that's kind of part of it, maybe. All right, let's do 10 second cooldown. Rage will make this cost five rage, and then we'll go ahead and leave that amount of damage. Melee range. Okay, uh, we gotta change this though. Um, I'm gonna be naming a lot of abilities the same as other abilities from other classes. I don't really care. Uh, what should we do for this? Let's do. And we'll name it. Um... <laughs> Robot Teeth. Really dumb name, but I don't care. <laughs> okay. I think that was actually... It didn't cost anything. They were able to do it every single second for damage. That was kind of powerful. So that should maybe help out a little bit. Alright, let's see if they keep dying so much. Um, somebody's having a tantrum. Nah, I'll just leave him. Okay, it doesn't look like they're dying as much. I think that was actually a big part of it. That one ability was kind of uh, kind of brutal for level 4. They get to do 4 damage every second, and it didn't cost anything. So they were able to just basically every single attack, just 4 damage, 4 damage, 4 damage. That, yeah, I think that was a big part of it. Let's see how they do now. I'll come back here later, but I think this might be a little bit more balanced over here now. And if this is more balanced, these level 4s are now more likely to get up to level 5, hopefully, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Um, let's go back into here now. Let's work on somebody else that I haven't done. Let's do a shaman. 
He does not have a level 4 yet. Okay, so... What does he have? He's got 1 damage, his base 1 damage. Hurl your fist at your target, healing 4 damage over... Wait, let's click on that. Hurl your fist at the target. That just seems like... Can I change that? Yeah. That seems very uh, misleading. Let's do... There we go. Point of the target healing 4 damage over 8 seconds. Okay, so we got a little bit of a healing spell coming from him now. This is... Clobber the target dealing 5 damage over 10 seconds and draining 5 mana over 10 seconds. It costs 8 mana. So you're going to get a little bit of your mana back from this. So that works fine. Let's do this. Clobber the target. So this needs to be uh, tweaked. Okay, so he's got a base damage. Really quick, I want to check again. His base free attack. He's got point of, point of the target healing. He's got doing 5 damage over 10 seconds and draining 5 mana. Let's give him a little bit more attack now. I think level 6 will give him something more like a, a, a buff of some sort. But for now, let's do an attack. So, And he has mana and rage. So let's cost rage for this. It's going to cost 5 rage. Melee... Uh, we'll see. Maybe melee. Okay, siphon health? No. Drain over time. Let's do damage over time. Maybe get rid of this. Let's do... 6 damage over 8 seconds with a 10 second cooldown. 5 rage cost. Um... Also, we're going to reduce their rage by two. Okay. I'm trying to think what we should what we should name this. So we're basically we're doing damage over time, and we're reducing their rage. So it's kind of like we're intimidating them, maybe, or we're humiliating them. Should we do humiliate? Yeah, I think Humiliate works, actually. Um, I don't know what icon we're going to use for it, though, but let's do Humiliate. I don't know why I was drawing a blank on spelling that. And I missed a letter. Duh. That's why I didn't look right. I missed a letter. Um, I was looking at it, and it was like drawing me off. It was throwing me off. I'm like, wait, I am not spelling this right, even though I thought I was. I wasn't. Was, was something humiliating looking? Yeah, this, you know? You swung your sword at them, he grabbed it with his hand. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now he's got a little bit better level 4 ability. Let's go while we're here, let's give him a level 6 ability. I want to do something more buffing. So what if we do... Let's do melee or missile range. That way he can do it on, on allies. Let's do maybe like a protection or weaken. Actually, you know what? I think we should do weaken. Let's do weaken. 30 for 8 seconds. 10 second cooldown. Instant cast. Uh, cost, this is going to be mana. It's level 6, so let's make it kind of expensive. Let's do 10. No, let's not do that much. Let's do eight. And it'll be... Yeah, I'm fine with all this, actually. Okay, so... Actually, what kind of vibe is this? So we're weakening them. We're doing a little bit of damage. It's costing mana. Um... He's got a decent amount of mana. So actually, you know what? Let's make it ten. I don't want to. I don't want to make it so you can. Ah, no, never mind. I'm gonna leave it at eight. Never mind. Sorry. Um. I'm thinking. Should we name it poison? Like poison roots. Yeah, let's do poison roots. 
I think there's already a Roots ability that we have for him. Uh, yeah, Healing Roots. Now we're going to do Poison Roots. Okay, that works. Shamans are getting a little bit better. Okay, what do we have over here? How are these guys doing? I think they're doing better, but they're still having a little bit of a hard time. And I don't mind them having a little bit of a hard time. I don't want them to never die. If they never die, it's too easy. But it does look like they're doing better overall now. Like, this dude just took out uh, an elite. What are you? A solo scout just took out an elite. I think that's good. I think this is kind of now balanced. People are still going to die. Which, you know, in a game like this, you're going to die sometimes. But they're not getting absolutely murdered. Although I, I did just see a good amount of people die right now. <laughs> okay. One last thing. How about we just bring down their health just a tiny bit more to 9. That's it. I think I'm done with that now. Okay, let's go somewhere else. I'll, I'll go check it later. Maybe like another episode later. But I'll check it later and see how they're doing. How are spiders? I haven't looked at spiders yet. Okay, so what is this? Level 6, right? This area? Okay, we're at level 6 now. How are people doing against spiders? Um, I want somebody to come fight these spiders, please. Here we go. I really want to put a barricade going in here, that wall, but I'm afraid, I'm really afraid to place anything at the moment just because of the glitches that have been happening. Okay, so we got this guy over here who's frustrated. Let's see how he does. What are you? You are a, a level 6 scout. Do scouts have a level 6 ability yet? Scouts do not. Alright, let's give him a level 6 ability. This should help him out a little bit. So... His freebie, uh, three damage, club to target, five damage over eight seconds, uh, ten damage over eight seconds. Let's just do just uh, a strong attack. Melee range, let's just do um, level six. Let's do 14, no, let's do 13 damage. It's going to cost him how much rage? 10 rage at level 1. I want to see something. I'm just thinking about it now because when I make these abilities, it says at level 6, but then when you show this at level 6, it shows here as 24.9. So is it making it so they can't even use them actually? Because it should show, like, what it is at level 1. I mean, it, it should show... I'm trying to think of how to word this correctly. You can't get this ability until level 6. So this right here should be representative of how it is at level 6. But it's actually showing it at level 1. So when I raise this to how it would be at level 6, it's going to cost 24.9 mana. And he only has 24.9 mana at full mana. So maybe that might be something that the developers need to work on, actually. Because this is... This is not representative of... I'm just thinking about this. This is not representative of what I am making. I am making a level 6 ability that should cost 10 mana at level 6. And they're showing at level 6 it's going to cost 24.9 mana. That might be another issue. Um, just in general, people that are getting higher level, they're not having enough mana and rage to to cast it. Okay, so what if I do 5? It's now 12. Okay, let's do... Let's do 7? Yeah, we'll do that. If anybody knows if I'm wrong on this, let me know. But I'm just looking at this now, and it seems like this is not... From, from not what I can do, but from the developer's as aspect, like, this is not balanced right. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's kind of what it looks like. Okay, so we're going to help you out really quick. I want to I want to see something. I'm going to take control of you.
Yeah, it's showing it's showing that high rage cost. Really weird. I don't like that. I really don't like that. So that means like when I'm telling an ability to be one cost at a specific level, it's actually much higher cost at that level. I don't like that. So that means that we have to then change abilities. So like for instance this. This should be costing 10 mana. However, it's actually costing 24.9 mana. Okay, so let's bring this down so it costs 10 up here. I don't like this. I really don't like this. So at level 4, I want this to be 10. What is this? 15. 13. 12. Come on, click it. 6. Okay, close enough. So now that's at level 2. It's 13 mana. I want it to be 8 mana, though. Oh, wait, sorry, that's level 2. That's actually really close, but that's still not what I told it to be. So what if I go down to 7.5? No. All right, what about just 6.5? Okay, we're just going to do 7. Interesting. I am learning something new that I am not happy about. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, so this is a level 6 ability, and I have it costing 8. So at level 6, it's 19. Did I already adjust this one? No, I didn't. Okay, so let's do... Let's just do 4. Yeah, we'll leave it there. Interesting. So now that means I actually have to I have to adjust the cost on all abilities out there. I don't like that. Okay, so design. Let's go back to let's go to warrior. Um, oh, I haven't given him new stuff yet. I should give him new stuff. Okay, so level two. Uh, damage five. Let's do let's do a five second cooldown, five damage, instant cast, melee range, rage cost. How much rage? He's got ten rage at level one, so let's do rage cost uh five at level two. So is that gonna be two point five maybe? Oh no, two, alright, cool. Um let's find a fist, a fist, a fist of some sort, or an arm, or a foot. There we go. Like how creative I'm getting? Oh, yeah. Okay, so now let's give him a level unusable. Requires more mana than available. Wait, what? Oh, I did mana. My bad. Rage. Two. That's actually, I do like that, how they tell you he can't, couldn't use it. I do like that. Okay, let's give him this. Let's give him some sort of buff. Um, what kind of buff would a warrior have? Generate rage, probably. Um, slow, stun, protect, weaken. Actually, no. Not that. Weaken. 30. Uh, let's do missile range. Got a little Tears for Fears going on in here. Third dude shouting or yelling or like a, an open mouth that's not teeth like I mean that's teeth but um, I don't see anything that could be like a shout there's the hands that I could use for that other one I think it was uh, shaman the, the point finger uh, there we go that kind of works not really but kind of let's do a rage cost Rage. This is level four. Let's do. Um, that works. That works. Let's give him a level six ability, and this is going to be just a strong, like, punch in the gut kind of thing. Actually. Yeah, <laughs> I did not intend that when I when I said that, but that just kind of works. Um, 
Is there a fist? Like a punching fist? There's so many icons. Ah, oh, here we go. It's kind of hard to remember like what all there is. Damage 10. Okay, I might do that. What other... Damage 5, damage 4. Okay, you know what? Yeah, damage 10. No, he's a warrior. He should be doing a little bit more damage. Let's do damage 15. Rage cost. Let's make it... How much rage should he have? Um... 24, that's going to be too much at level 6. Let's do 19.9. Alright, let's, let's find a warrior around here and see how much they have. What are you? Monk. Paladin. Scout. What are you? You paladin? Paladin. Yeah, paladins are kind of um they're kind of overpowered. I, I think it's good that I brought their health down because I'm seeing a lot of paladins around too. I think that could be partially because they're so overpowered. I had a huge, huge uh, amount of health that they had, which kind of wasn't good. Where's a warrior? And if you notice there's paladins everywhere. And it's probably because they saw like how good paladins are. They're like, yeah, man, I'm not going to use anything other than a paladin. What are you? Monk. Ah, oh, come on. There's got to be a, pal uh, I mean, a warrior around here somewhere. What are you? Scout. Somebody just died over here. What were they, though? Oh, I can't select it. I need a war, yeah. I thought, that, I thought that was like somebody that just died or something. Oh, a Trent. Oh my god, yes. I don't remember what it was I needed to look at them for though. Okay, 24.9 mana. I think it was something about their mana cost. So let me see something. Okay, um, at level 6, he's got 24.9. Let's look at his abilities. So this isn't an ability yet. I should give him that ability. This is, it costs 12.4. Okay, let's do, let's give him a new ability. It's kind of a warlock ability, but I think it also kind of works for him. Siphon health. I was actually, no, I don't know. I was going to do siphon health, but what if we do a heal over time? I think Trent's of, I think of them as kind of like a, a healing type class, like a support healing, but that's not their main thing. Kind of like a paladin. He doesn't have any healing. Um, I'm doing a lot of stuff with roots. Okay, let's do just uh, heal over time at level 6. I'm not even looking at this number now. I'm looking at this number up here, which I don't think I should have to do that, but whatever. What is this? It's 5? No, that's not enough. Let's do 5. What is 5? 12.4 over 8 seconds. He's got 36 health. That's actually, that sounds kind of good. Okay, so now let's do mana. You're doing, you're getting almost like a third of your health in 8 seconds. That's not bad. Okay, now let's do, um, what does 5 mana cost? That is 12. It's half. Alright, that works. Healing roots. That icon's actually not terrible, but um, I think these are better. Uh, like this right here. Okay, I don't remember if that was exactly what I was looking for, if it was a mana cost, but I remember I was looking for a Trent for something, and I could not find one. Now I'm looking for a warrior, and I can't find a warrior. And it, there's paladins everywhere. I think I made paladins too good early on, and so everybody's like, I'm not playing anything other than a paladin. I brought paladins down, and I brought warriors up, so maybe that maybe can help them a little bit. I'm curious, can we give somebody a revive so they can bring somebody back from the dead? Let's just look at this really quick. I don't think so, but heal over time. Generate rage. Yeah, I don't think we can. Root in place. 
Root in place and damage over time. Eight seconds. Let's do five seconds on both. Ooh, I don't know what just happened there. Um, can I get out of this, please? I don't know if that came through on the game, but I accidentally somehow got on my Steam page. I don't know if OBS picked that part up, though, but I got on my Steam page and was like, no, that's not what I want. Okay, now let's do... Can I please just select the text bar? There we go. Five, let's do... Okay, this is going to be at level six? No, this is at level eight. Okay, let's bring this up to level eight really quick. So level eight, how about we do... Five. What does five get us as far as damage goes? Five is 17 damage. Yeah, okay, that's okay. Now let's do um, mana. We're going to do the same thing as well. I'm doing a lot of stuff with roots. <laughs> I, I, I had no intention to, but... Um, okay, what should we name this now? Crippling Root? Yeah, I like Crippling Root. Boom. I, I really don't like this thing, though, how what you do here isn't representative of this. Like, these two are, like, not connected in any way. But, oh well. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and get out of all this. I want to go back over to here really quick. Actually, while we're here, I want to check one other thing. So warriors, oh wait, no, not warriors. Let's do something else. Let's do uh, wizards. Wizards. So this is supposed to cost at level two, seven. But it's actually at level two, it's costing 8.4. So let's bring this down to six. All right, that's close enough. Now, what about this right here? This is supposed to cost six. I might have already adjusted that. What about this? Four. At level... Oh, wait, no. I just realized I did something wrong there. Go back to here. At level four. There we go. Ten. Okay, yeah, I think I already adjusted that, actually. That's fine. So now let's look at somebody else. Let's look at Paladin. Paladin. Okay, at level 2, this is supposed to cost 1. It's costing 1.2. It's very close, so that's fine. Fe uh, healing for 5. Melee range. I think that's actually fine. How much mana does he have? He doesn't have that much mana, so I think this is actually fine. Um, but now what about his next ability? So at level 4, he doesn't have an ability at level 4. Oh, he does. I just haven't named it. <laughs> Just because of the icon, I I don't know. Um, bad bubble. He's dealing uh five damage. Um, level four. He's doing eight point six damage over eight seconds. Four second cooldown. Let's do a uh, ten second cooldown, and cost two mana. Oh, that's three point five. At level 4. Nah, that's fine. Let's find a paladin and see how much they have at level 4. What are you? Paladin. At level 4, he's got 6. Yeah, that's fine, actually. That works. How are you doing? You're actually doing pretty close. Um, I'm going to help you out really quick. But... And you level. Hey, see, I helped you level. You should uh, now be a subscriber for life. Okay, so I think we actually got quite a lot done this episode. I, I worked on the levels a lot. I found a rather, to me, what I think is a big issue as far as the developers go. I think that they really need to fix when you uh, when you build a class at level two, this is not actually representative of what's going on. So I think they need to, to fix that. So like uh, it's a level two ability. So when I say five damage at level two, it's actually doing six damage. I don't like this. And and same thing with the cost. Like, they need to work on the cost and everything. 
Whatever, that's a minor issue, but I think that really does need to get worked on and get fixed. But that being said, I think this is going to be a good place to um, end this episode. Uh, hopefully there is a new patch or update coming out soon that addresses some of the issues as far as just how the game is operating, like as far as like speed and lag and bugging out when I play stuff, when I build stuff. So hopefully that gets fixed soon. But um, I'm going to try and find ways to continue doing this series regardless of the current state with the, the issues, the bugs. Um, and then as soon as they get that taken care of, which I have a feeling they probably will soon because they're pretty quick on things like that, then I'll get back to building a little bit more. But if you're enjoying this, please feel free to subscribe, helping me to grow the channel. I'm almost at 300 subscribers right now, so you guys can help me get there really quick. And uh, I will catch you next time. Peace.